The next location I visit is the coastal town of Natrang. I decide to take a tour to Monkey Island, where I've been told monkeys have been trained to ride bikes. Now I must be honest with you, I don't really like monkeys. I find them a little intimidating. I was told this was the king of the monkeys. Show off. The performance started with some well-trained dogs, followed by some well-dressed monkeys. And finally, what I'd been waiting for. Monkeys on bikes. On returning to Natrang, I visited the Ponagar Temple. I really like visiting historical religious sites. There is something about all those decades of prayer and worship that seems to give places like this a real serenity. Another thing I like doing is visiting local markets, getting a sense of the daily life of a place. Everyone seemed to have a special role. There was duck woman, rock breaking woman, Bean woman and pig offal woman. Hang on a minute, where are all the men? That night I wondered what my role was and whether as a tourist one can have a positive impact on locals, other than just teaching a waitress 101 stupid things to do with your hands. I got the answer to my question the next day when I met May Locke. Locke was a struggling cyclo driver a chance meeting with a Norwegian couple and their gift to Locke of a small camera led to him changing careers and realising his talent as a photographer. Self-taught, Locke's photos have been exhibited around the world. Like all creative people, Locke has a real vision for what he hopes to portray in his work. I think that the good photo, especially the children and the old people, uh, from the children, you can see that very natural and the children very innocent. So it can get you the very nice photo. And from the old people portrait, that because on their face you can see a lot of uh, wrinkle. And each wrinkle can tell you a little bit of their experience during their life. In Europe, nowadays, the family cloners, that's almost gone. Old people, now they put in uh, the old house, and nobody taking care of them. So when someone see the uh, togetherness of the photo, it's been uh, between two generations, the grandchildren with the grandma or grandfather, sitting together and uh, smiling and having hap sharing the happiness together. It's remind them something about the family uh, love. Thank you.